<laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman. Now I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema. Sit down. Uh, yes, I know you're sitting at home going, Seaman, you're looking a little stranger than normal. And that's, you're actually, you're, you're factually right. Uh, I broke my glasses this weekend. I broke an arm off and uh, they cracked. Uh, I've had some issues with these glasses. I've taken them back uh, to get repaired. But until then, uh, it's back to the old Oakleys, which are a little bit smaller uh, the, than I like nowadays. Um, but yeah, so that's it, man. Uh, until the the, gla all, the new glasses are fixed, uh, the old glasses will be uh, substituting. But, um, you know, I digress, man. We're not here to talk about my glasses. We're here to talk about a movie. And as you can see, I'm in my car, which means it's live reaction time. Um, and I was really intrigued to see uh, this movie because uh, of its director. Um, you know, I, cast that I was very excited about. I really liked the casting and our two leads. Um, but when I heard Eli Roth was doing a, a PG, like, kids movie... I was very interested because, I mean, Eli Roth, you know, if you've ever seen Hostel, you know Eli Roth doesn't really play in kid-friendly territory. Um, but I must say, I thought Eli Roth did a pretty good job of delivering a very 90s feeling Disney Channel kind of movie, right? One of those movies that, like, it, it feels weird to watch because you can very clearly tell it's it's, it's intended for kids um you know the story has you know some plot holes and things in it that fall that you kind of get accustomed to in a kids movie um this one i thought had a few too many of those and it was clunky at times um but overall man it, it kind of mixes this vibe of like really adult feeling themes um that are blended into a movie that feels like you know something you'd watch on disney channel and that's what those movies like hocus pocus or halloween town are really good at doing especially in the horror genre with kids uh it is taking you to places that make you go oh, i don't know if that's okay for a kid that's a little grown up but it still works uh and for the most part outside of one scene there's one scene in here i thought was a little more pg-13 like if i had like a seven eight nine year old kid i don't know how comfortable i'd be with this one scene in the movie but other than that everything else kind of fits exactly the way it would in something like hocus pocus um and i really dug that um now like i said it's got some plot holes it's a little clunky gets kind of boring at times it does leave some things unanswered and kind of on the table uh but for the most part you know it has some nice twists and turns toward the end and by the time we get to the ultimate climax of the movie i, I really enjoyed where it took us um and, and a lot of that it, it has to do with its leads uh jack black just the perfect person to play the weird uncle who's a warlock um you know uh he and he really amps it up man you know he's kind of over the top and everything about his character i thought was working uh within the realm of a kid's movie um, but then you get Kate Blanchett, and Kate Blanchett's story kind of has some darkness around it. And a lot of her one-liners, her and Jack Black, their banter is phenomenal. They play off each other so well. Um, like where they're like these old friends that like just are constantly ribbing each other. Um, and their one-liners back and forth are really, really funny at, at times. But Kate Blanchett's are kind of dark. And a lot of darkness kind of surrounds the mystery of her character. Um, which brings a more serious level of acting, um, you know, and less kind of kiddish type stuff. And, and I, I thought that really worked, right? Having that balance of, of your two leads, I thought kind of balanced the movie. However, there were a couple times in the movie where I thought Jack Black didn't quite mesh, right? Like when the movie would go to those kind of more creepy, serious places. And the movie does, man. There's a lot of creepiness in the, this movie is really creepy a lot of times. And Jack Black actually points it out several times in the movie, which is kind of funny. But during the, some of those creepy scenes, I thought the kiddish humor didn't quite mesh. But overall, I really thought the two of them, their banter uh, and their chemistry really carried the movie. Um, and then there's Owen Vaccaro, who I thought did a pretty good job. Uh, he's really, really good at being weird. Uh, you know, kind of being that off kiltered kid who finds you know his own confidence by the end and it kind of does follow that general kind of cliche story uh, but he's really good at that stuff not really good at being sad if i was eli roth i maybe would have asked owen vaccaro to not cry at all in this movie uh he is not a good crier and it really anytime he was doing the emotional stuff in the movie it felt really forced and that kind of took me out of it uh, but when he's doing the, like, investigative stuff in the house and, and messing around with Jack Black and Kate Blanchett, and they're kind of doing that weird fun and, and him being kind of nerdy and learning how to, to do magic, uh, that stuff all works really well. And overall, I, I liked Owen Vaccaro uh, as well. 
Um, so there, man. I mean, look, there, there's some twists and turns in the movie that I really don't want to talk about or spoil for anybody because I did really th- I, I enjoyed the climax of the movie. I thought it worked well. Um, and like I said, it brought me back to that like 90s, you know, kid horror movie uh, that I'm so familiar with. And that's, I think, what ultimately really made me enjoy it, even despite some of the, the flaws that the movie does have. Um, so there you go, man. The, the sea man kind of dug a house with a clock in its walls. Um, and I dug the, the story with the clock. I thought it was kind of interesting and take I hadn't seen on something. So there you go, man. That's all the sea man's got to say. Uh, what do you guys say, man? It's your turn. Uh, it's the end of the weekend. It's a Sunday. So hopefully you've seen this movie by now. If you have, please let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, if you're going to have any spoilers, note those. Um, but let me know what you're thinking. If you haven't seen the movie, have I enticed you to? I hope so, man. It's, you know, like I said, it's a fun movie. Um, you know, you'll definitely get some chuckles and you'll definitely get some like scary creepiness. Um, so let me know if you if you're, we want to go check it out or if you just have no interest whatsoever. Leave all that down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe and little bell so you get alerts every time the C-Man makes a new video. Uh, for the C-Man Cinema, sit down. I'm the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Oh, hey, you guys are still here. Well, since you are, you might as well check out a different video like this one or this one. And if you haven't yet, would you please hit that subscribe button? See, man. Peace.